welcome to DMU. Here at DMU, we believe in safety first. Always wear your safety goggles, students. Always have your lab coat done up. When using chemicals, always wear gloves. In order to weigh something accurately on a top pan balance, first of all, take your weighing boat, place it on the balance, press tear, this will minus the weight of the weighing boat. You can then weigh your solid in the weighing boat and you have your accurate weight. The same can be achieved with your watch glass. First of all, tear the balance, place the watch glass on top of the balance and there are two ways you could do this. You can either tear it so it will, it will read um, naught on the balance or you can write down the weight of the watch glass and deduct this from your final mass. To begin, take some distilled water and place them in a conical flask. We will then put this on a hot plate in order to bring it to the boil. Once the water is boiling, we can take our product that we want to recrystallise, pop it in a conical, place it on the hot plate and now we can begin to add our hot solvent, in this case water, the minimal amount to dissolve our product. And we add it bit by bit. Our product has now clearly dissolved. We will now perform a hot filtration. To perform the hot filtration, we have a conical flask, a powder funnel, and a fluted filter paper. We can then take our, um, our dissolved product and pour and allow to filter. Once we have finished the hot filtration, we can leave the conical to one side to cool and the crystals will start forming. However, you can speed up this process by placing it in an ice bath. Once our product is fully recrystallized, we can now filter it through a Buckner setup. To set up a Buckner filtration, you will need to set up your Buckner kit. You start off with a Buckner flask, a Buckner funnel, and a rubber ring, which are put together like so. Place one of the small filter papers inside the Buckner funnel. Attach the vacuum line here, and the vacuum tap on the bench. Before we filter our recrystallized product, moisten the filter paper on the book funnel with a little bit of the solvent, in this case water. We then turn on the vacuum tap, like so, and pour our recrystallized product through the funnel. If you have any remnants inside your conical flask, you could wash them out using the cold solvent. Once your product is filtering, you can extract the maximum amount of water by using a glass stopper and pressing the crystals down. Once the product has been filtered, turn off the vacuum, take off the funnel and remove the filter paper. Scrape the crystals from the filter paper onto a watch glass. Remember to put your name on the bottom of the watch glass so you can identify it later. Once we've finished with our Buckner filtration, you'll have some water left in the bottom of the flask. This is okay to get rid of. 
down the sink. Go away, water. After we've taken our product from the top of the Buckner, we then need to dry it. The product can be dried in a vacuum oven. Once we've finished our recrystallisation, we can see the difference between our recrystallised product and our original product. Organic compounds, when they're pure, are white. But however, you can see our original product is still dirty. Dirty and filthy. Let's not look at it. Our crystals should now be dry. Now, you can determine how pure they are by doing a melting point analysis using a melting point app. Thanks for watching everyone. To make a fluted filter paper, take your large filter paper, fold it in half, like so, and fold it in half again, then open it out and start folding the halves into a concertina shape. Do one half then do the other half. Press it all together and then open it out. Do you have a fluted filter paper? <laughs>